it's never a bad day on the job when you get to snuggle some puppies. And if I could take one home, I would. Unfortunately, I have a puppy that doesn't like other dogs. So, but this guy, it was a truck driver. He was busted at the border, and that's how they came to get these dogs. So they had a brief stay in Canada, but now they're back in the U.S. and in need of a few good homes. Wednesday afternoon, Rachel Donnerman with the Windsor Essex County Humane Society made a stop in southwest Detroit with a special delivery of sorts. They're happy, healthy puppies. Eight cute, adorable, cuddly puppies confiscated at the Canadian border three weeks ago. We took possession of them um, when they were improperly imported into Canada. The American born dogs back home after someone planned to sell them for a quick buck. In Windsor, pit bulls are banned. There's a gentleman, he's a truck driver. He is, lives here in Detroit, I believe. He buys up litters of puppies for cheap and then he smuggles them over the border and sells them for exorbitant amounts of money in Canada. The eight pups spent the last few weeks at the Humane Society getting hugs and medical treatment. A ninth dog didn't survive. We don't know where they actually originated from, the puppies. Um, we believe it's two litters. <laughs> the small dogs back in the USA will need loving homes. Katie, okay, well, you need a sister? Look. But because they came from Canada, they will need to be quarantined first. These puppies are going to be moved to iHeart Dogs Rescue and Animal Haven, a no-kill shelter in Warren. They will be put on quarantine. So they will be quarantined for 30 days after they receive a rabies vaccination. After that 30-day period, uh, then the CDC will come and check and make sure that, you know, they've been given proper vaccinations, that they've been held for their 30 days of quarantine, and then they will be placed up for adoption. The shelter that is going to be caring for these puppies, they have a Facebook page. We'll put that link on our website, WXYZ.com, so you can keep in touch, see how these puppies are doing. And if you want to adopt them when they're ready for their new home, you can get all the information there. Also, if you want to donate, it's going to be expensive caring for these puppies. For now, reporting live, back to you.